Hello everybody, Kato Jugs here, and welcome to something a little bit different. Uh, today we're going to be playing a game called Trackmania Nations, which is the free one um, that anyone can play um, on Steam. And basically, you're able to build tracks and race them, and there's lots of predetermined tracks to choose from um, in sort of different little levels, um, sort of locally. And I think you can get online as well. I don't know how you could sort of find other people's tracks on this version. Um, you can find some online servers, which are kind of interesting. Um, I won't go on those right now because I think those will be very much a drain on my connection, and I don't think I'll be able to stream or slash record those. Um, but we're gonna—I'm gonna show you guys some of my own personal levels that I've done. Um, a couple each de episode, because some of them also take quite a while. And uh, um, by the time I have sort of done another video, of course there'll be more to do. Um, but yeah, this is sort of my attempt at doing something different. So I've done most of these already, so I sort of know how to play them. But I'm going to show you guys what Track Mania Nation is all about and how awesome it is. And try and show up my design skills a bit. And hey, if this thing takes off, I might consider doing it as more of a series. And I might consider getting the other Track Mania stuff. I mean, I'm going to consider it doing it anyway, because Track Mania is great. And literally the whole premise, and literally your controls are your arrow keys. So it's super easy to get into. Obviously, it's left, right, um, left and right, your left and right, forward, your forward, and of course your back is your brake, or reverse. Um, I think you can probably, you can change your controls up, so if you're, if you're a WASD user, then you can just change it to WASD. Um, but each one of these is like, almost like a little element of all its own. So you get dirt tracks, you get um, the choice of using, obviously, your regular, I think there's, there's also... There's like blocks and stuff you can build as well. You can use different types of sort of tracking, um, and obviously you use barriers and all the rest of it. I'm not too experienced with using barriers and such just yet, but uh, I'm gonna get. I'm, you'll you'll see as sort of the levels progress and as the episodes progress, hopefully, um, that I get better at this and I stop putting boosts everywhere that boosts don't need to be. Oh dear! I've <laughs> oh. I'm back at the start because I don't have any checkpoints in this race because they're not needed because of how small it is. Oh wait, no, it's because I press because if you press the uh, backspace key, backspace is your restart, whereas enter is your um, respawn. And I always seem to get the two mixed up. Like I need to press respawn. Um. Oh. God burn it. Oops. Okay. Oop. Careful. No, don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. Oh. Of course, unfortunately, because I haven't got the sort of the pro version of the um, recording software I'm using, you won't be able to hear the screaming engine, which, to be fair, is probably a good thing. And I don't play the music on it anyway because it distracts from everything else in the music. It's very distracting. And quite disinteresting as well. It's not very good music. I'd recommend turn, when you play this, turn off the music and turn on your YouTube and find some nice tracks to listen to. I mean, I would. I mean, I'm not doing that right now, which I probably should do, because that would make things for, for much more interesting commentary. Oops. Um... Yeah, I think these Formula 1 cars all have four-wheel drive, which is beautiful, isn't it? Everything has four-wheel drive, because... And you're not just limited to the British car. Um, usually the vehicle you drive... I think you can choose whatever skin you have. Um, you can find other skins as well of that people have done. Which I've yet to figure out how to do that. But there's also a skin for every nationality. So even if you're English, but prefer America, you can just grab the American one. I imagine there's a USA one, but if you don't like any of them, you can always paint your own with an MS Paint style of okay, the paint your car thing is not amazing, there's no way to turn it at least not a simple way anyway not a way that I figured out yet that's the problem with this this sort of free one, there's, you've got to figure everything out, there's no sort of tutorials or I imagine like the proper track mania thing has a bit more of tutorial, you'd think for the free one they'd have some tutorials, but I guess they, they just want people to be like, oh, if you, you can figure out how to do this, then, you know, you can play the game, you can learn more by the paid version, and I've just crashed my car. Beautiful. 
I mean, I think you're supposed to use that piece there in a completely different way, but that's like, it's fine. Um, this is the final lap of this. Because for some reason you can't change... I don't think you can change the amount of laps in the multi-lap uh, counter thing. At least, again, I don't know how to do that. Um, very unusual thing. Again, I've made, I figured out how to do hills and stuff, which you'll see sort of on my... You saw sort of on my right. And you can build tracks like pieces on those hill slope bits, but I don't know how to do that. Oops. Oh dear. That was a... Nearly killed me. Qu question of the day. How do these people survive these car accidents? And, I mean, the speed is enough to give someone whiplash. I mean... And that's like a hundred miles an hour, just through that corner. hundred miles an hour. I mean, I know it's obviously like actual Formula One would be going hundred miles an hour past the corner, but this is much faster than hundred miles an hour. Probably even higher, higher, faster than, you know, regular Formula One. Um, let's do Epic Launch. Oh, this is my favourite. So Epic Launch One is a very stupid track. Like, this is probably my, this is my thing, me looking at the track stuff that you can build and me thinking, how do I create something completely ridiculous using stuff that's abnormal? Um, and of course, you can't just build just a launcher pad. You've got um, I like making a racetrack out of it. So, yeah. Oop. And of course, like any good, you know, interesting track, I decided to add obstacles. This is where I started adding obstacles to levels, I think. Oh. And not quite into changing my tracks together. <laughs> because it's like, eh, you don't need to conjoin every piece. As long as it flows, it's fine. Um, I think this was the third time I used loops, and you'll see some, I, I'll tell you when I get to an earlier track. But also, they're, I think they're arranged by title, rather than date created. So... <laughs> uh... And this is the stupid bit. That, that was literally the purpose of me building the track. And I think I've actually... No, I haven't gone over. Um, I'll have to redo that. <laughs> Which is why I put the check one exactly there. But it's very RNG because obviously that those boosters there give you boost between 100% and 200%. So if every single one is 200%, you're going to go over and you're going to have a bad time. And then this is like, this, I think this is like kind of a track, but it's this sort of track without barriers, and it looks like buildings almost. I have no idea this is supposed to emulate. <laughs> and then there's just... I'm surprised I recovered from that, to be fair. The sun is shining, and you can change the time of day, you can change the time of day these races occur on. Which I thought was quite cool. Look, adverts! And I nearly fell off the track. Um, but yeah, I think my earlier tracks don't flow as well as my previous one, as my newer ones do. Because this one flows quite well, most of the time. I mean, some of my older tracks do flow very well. Oh, bugger. But I keep adding way too many speed ramps, I'm like, but we need more power. More power. Unlimited power. Yeah. Because that thing above sets you to freewheeling and also it will run you off the track. Because I figured, why not have a bit of... Yeah, you need to change lanes now. Because that's what drivers do in real life. Change lanes. Except not vertically changing lanes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oop. But yeah, this is a point-to-point, -point, so not a circuit, which is very interesting. And that was that. And I won another medal, apparently. Okay. Um, let's see. And this is my first track, as it actually says. Um, hope. So this, I think we'll do this one last track. I think we'll try and do aim for like three tracks an episode. 
<laughs> and hope that this hasn't lagged out to all heck before um, before I actually upload this. Yes, I put a checkpoint right after the, the uh, start. For some reason. And this was using, because you get the choice to use either simple or advanced stuff. I mean, there's a random track in the middle of nowhere, that's just show, goes to show. But also I used the simple stuff, which means I was limited to like eight different things I could do. Was it ten? But the other one, like the main uh, track creator, has like so many. It's ridiculous. And this was before I even knew how much 100% boost actually was. Like, I was expecting it to be like uh, cunning stunts, like boost pads, and wouldn't be v much boost at all. And oh, oh no. Plus, boost pads followed by, um, hitty things. Yeah. I actually beat my score by two minutes, by two seconds. Um, but as you can sort of see, um, I'm not going to actually change the view. No, I can't. But, um, yeah. That was Trackmania. Well, um, Nations. United, or whatever it is. Uh, Nations Forever, that's the one. Um, I'm going to end this video off here, um, on a bit of a spoiler. Hold on, hold on. Actually, why did I pause the thing? There we go. Um... And a bit of a spoiler, I mean, on a bit of an end note. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite good. Very simple what it is. Um, and it clearly shows what the Trackmania games can do. And I'm glad, you know, the Trackmania devs uh, decided, you know what, let's give people a free one to play so they can actually see if they like the games or not. And um, I'm going to leave you off with this. I uh, think you guys for watching this video here. Leave a co comment, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, answer in the comments below if you want to see more stuff. And, what's, and any tips as to how I can do more better stuff. Um, this is Good Jake signing off. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.